High ranking Nigeria politician Ebere Madu and his academic wife are charged with plot to bring a child from Nigeria to UK for organ harvesting. <laughs> Wonderful people, great beer friends all over the world. I bring you the news as it's breaking and I am going to give you the breakdown analysis of this news. One at the age of 55 and 60 are both from Nigeria. Mr. Eparemadu is People's Democratic Party politician who was once a deputy president of the nation's Senate. His wife is an academic and doctor in Abuja. Couple we are visiting the UK in June. They will appear at Oxbridge Magistrate Court on, to, on, on Thursday afternoon. Child alleged to have been trafficked for organs is now safe with the police. The Nigeria couple arrested on suspicious of plotting to harvest the organ of a child in the UK are one of the West African nation's most high-profile politicians and his wife, Mel Online can reveal today. Ike Kwerema, the 60, a People's Democratic Party politician for 19 years who was once deputy president of the nation's Senate, was held with uh, one neck, one neck, uh, a model, 55 in Britain this month. Mr. Kwerema has been an elected senator at the Abuja based parliament since 2023, after moving into politics, after years as a lawyer, his wife, five years, his junior, five years. His junior is an academic and doctor and also major public figure in Nigeria. They are believed to have four adult children. They are both charged with conspiracy to arrange or facilitate travel of another person with a view of exploitation, namely organ harvesting. They have been remanded in custody and will appear at Oxbridge Magistrate Court today. The Metropolitan Police has said that the child who is under the age of 18 at the center of the alleged plot is in care and organ harvesting involves removing part of the body often for cash and against the victim's will. Scotland Yard has not given the gender or the age of the child or the location of the arrest, but given the suspect are appearing in the court in Oxbridge, it is like they were held at the nearby Hartlow Airport. Ekwara Mara has been in the UK for at least the past fortnight having met with members of Nigeria community in Britain in Lincoln around 10 days ago. He tweeted, It was pleasure and an honor to receive a letter of appointment by the University of Lincoln, UK, as visiting professor of corporate and international linkage. I also got a highly treasured gift, a copy of the Magna Carta. It was created in 1215, about 807 years ago. So, we are going to leave this news here in order for us to have time to analyze this news further. Because we need to analyze it further. Of course, you remember and you will understand all the prophecies of Mazen Namdekano that has been given to us that this government and their you know and their activities is illegal all the time. When you think about this government and their activities during the time of answers when Mazen Namdekano talked about you know organ harvesting and all that being sold at UK at Indian 
people did not take him serious but that is exact same thing that you are seeing today that is to show that everything that ipob is telling you and around the world it is but an authentic story Mazen Nam the Khan said it made it categorically clear to the world that this government, these people, they are harvesting organ of people through SARS as a criminal syndicate of you call it a, a armed force in Nigeria. They use them to have harvest people's organs, young people organs, and they go abroad and sell it. That is part of the ways these people were making their money. That is part of the ways these people were enriching themselves. Almost all of them, if you can catch this one, if you investigate further, you will catch more of them. IPOB, we do not propagate anything false information. We do not promote uh, any activities that will just endanger the life of another for no reason. You can see Mazen Namdekanu made it clear and exposed all these activities of these people. And thank God that they are being captured in the Western world. Tomorrow, this type of people, this these wicked entities, they will come out to tell you that IPOB, that we are doing this, we are doing that. But you can all see now that IPOB is justified. All the killings going on in Biafra land. You will understand it is politically contrived all the kidnapping it is politically contrived you might even find out that these people they kidnap a child without anybody knowing and they made visa and they th they fly this child to abroad in order to harvest the organ of the child there is many things that is behind this i want the uk government to investigate further and while you are doing it Try also to investigate other politicians that are trooping on and off and on into UK. Because they are not genuine. At least this is an evidence to show you that Mazen Namdekano is whiter than white and whiter than snow. When we talked about the Akwaremadu, many people think we do not have respect. When people disgraced him in Germany, many people believe that this IPOP does not have respect. But of course, you can see by yourself all the atrocities that these people are committing in our land, extorting people's body parts, extorting organs, harvesting people organ not only in uk they are selling it it should also be monitored in india they are selling these body parts in different parts of the countries of the world these were politicians the money they stole in government as if it's not enough for them they are getting themselves engaged with all this evil and atrocious behavior now everything that ipob said it is justified because we do not promote propaganda we are whiter than white we are whiter than snow thank you to Kwoki Biyama for exposing one of these political cabals one of these politicians that has never allowed the ordinary people to drink water and, re and relax the cup today it is the time for the owner every day is for the thief one day is for the owner. Mazen Namdekanu made it categorically clear. All of you screaming for one Nigeria, you are all going to die. Because if whoever that child is, or whoever the parents is, they might not know the activities of this person. They might even tell them, no, we are one Nigeria. Let's take this child to abroad. We are going to support him one or two, one or, you know, one way or the other without knowing that they are wishing ill on the innocent child. Nigeria is a zoo, and the earlier you understand it, the better for you. These are the product of Nigeria. There is nothing that will ever come out of Nigeria that will ever be in the benefit of ordinary person. They always wish, wish ill for ordinary people on the ground. They're money mongers. They can never get full. They can never get enough. So, make sure the UK government, you guys have done a wonderful job there. I commend you guys to continue doing it. 
and also do it to Fulanese because there are a lot of them that are trooping into your country. They are also bringing money that they have illegally, you know, acquired. I want you guys to also, you know, extend this investigation to all these Fulanese that are also trooping into UK. I am going to leave it here. Wonderful people of Biafra. Thank you for listening to this information. Share this video and make sure that this video gets to other people for them to know that they should keep their loved ones safe. That all these politicians, they are evil, they are diabolic, they are wicked. You can never do anything to please them. They will never get enough. They are money mongers. That is how it is. Salute until we meet again.